Hey there, crypto traders and investors. It's Rod with Pow Group. Welcome back on The Pursuit of Wall. Today is Thursday, November 28th. Hope you're well. I'm still a little under the weather, but getting through it, feeling better. Uh, we'll power through this today. I've got an exciting video for you here today, a must-see correlation between Bitcoin and XRP. I've been having a lot of fun playing around with the all-time Bitcoin price index and overlaying the fractals with the XRP boom and bust cycles. And I was playing around with it a little bit more today, and I found something that I think you'll find very interesting. And I think we have a couple of exciting months ahead, uh, but we'll discuss all of this and more. We were discussing this in the Power Group private community today with private members, uh, but wanted to come on and do a video here as well. Before we get to it, make sure to sm smash the like. It helps support me in the channel. If you're new, you can subscribe, tick the bell, all that good stuff. You'll be notified on any future videos or when to go live. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. You can also follow us over on X, formerly Twitter. Handle for that is at Group Pow. And happy American Thanksgiving to our friends down south. Uh, I made this uh, post here on X earlier today. And uh, you guys are lucky you got uh, today and tomorrow off. But apparently you don't have Boxing Day. So we got you. We went up you there here in Canada. <laughs> but, uh, all jokes aside, uh, wishing you a very, very happy Thanksgiving with your friends and family. And I think this year we have a lot to be thankful for. And that's going to be the next few months ahead. I think our time is finally here. And I just want to remind everybody as well that it was four years ago, Almost. So it was December 22, 2020, when the SEC charged Ripple and two executives with conducting $1.3 billion worth of unregistered securities offering and brought this lawsuit against them. So we're coming up on the four year anniversary. And, you know, they did that right before the holidays, like right before Christmas, right? I remember it. Uh, they just wiped out billions of dollars worth of innocent, you know, retail investor holder money. And it's just, it's sickening what they did. And, you know, I think, you know, leading into this holiday season, I think it's going to be night and day. I think we're going to, we're going to see our, our moment where, you know, we, we rise from the ashes, so to speak, and the, and the Phoenix rises, because I think we're going to have a much better holiday and uh, outcome this time around after you see this video. But taking a look at the rest of the crypto space at the moment, we are recovering nicely here. And typically US Thanksgiving is generally a bullish time for the market. We'll see what happens. A lot of people are expecting that. So it might be the opposite. Once we know things are popular, then usually the opposite happens because of, you know, the once the herd is basically expecting something, usually 90% of, you know, retail investors are wrong. So if the herd, which is referred to as retail investors, just, you know, your everyday average Joe and Jane, well, it might be the opposite, but we'll see it, until, you know, it, it changes. I think we, we should expect more upside. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be so bullish on Bitcoin because, you know, who's going to really want to buy it uh, over $100,000 or almost at $100,000 USD? Uh, personally, not me. I'd be talking more about the altcoins around the, uh, the, the dinner table, personally. And that would be XRP by far uh, my number one recommendation to anyone that I would speak to about crypto because, you know, we've been, we've been suppressed for so long. And, you know, I, I hope by, you know, making this video, I'm really going to blow your mind. But let's just take the FIB tool. So from the high of the previous all-time high, this is a very simple tool to use to kind of get your next move in new price discovery in a new bull market and boom and bust cycle. So if we just use, and this is what Bitcoin and Ethereum did, Bitcoin and Ethereum each hit their 3.618 and actually Bitcoin got above its 4.618. So if XRP were to do something similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum, and in 2018, XRP actually surpassed uh, Ethereum's market cap. So if it can do it, then obviously it can do it, you know, in the future, especially whenever it's under an SEC lawsuit. I mean, my God, right. But if we just hit the 4.618, uh, like Bitcoin, it actually blasted above it. If we just hit the 4.618, that's just under $15. So we'll use that. And again, you want confluence, right? Confluence just means multiple indicators, patterns, signals pointing to the same thing, right? So if you have, you know, eight out of 10 ind indicators, pattern signals that we watched, are all saying bullish and they're all saying, you know, a price target of around $10. Well, we're going to, you know, we're going to believe that $10 is the most likely scenario. And then you can use these different, you know, Bitcoin price index and things like that to, to kind of factor in timelines. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. The hard, hardest thing ever is factoring in a timeline. Uh, but I think, you know, we might have cracked this one here. So, you know, again, if we just do what Bitcoin did, if we see the FIB level hit. Okay, so now let's just take a look at the boom and bust cycle here for Bitcoin. So we, we felt, I would say about probably about what, 85% of the time, it's just been spot on. It's been pretty much bang on. There was this time here in 2017, where it absolutely just skyrocketed, but that was the God candles that followed. But 
ultimately we only lag for a couple of months and then we shoot up. What happened here? We were lagging for a few months and then we shot up another God candle. So are we going to see like another two or three God candles in a row? Uh, so again, we're getting back up to where I was predicting, I made a video probably, I think about a month ago, su suggesting that we could see this massive candle catch back up to this fractal. If history doesn't always repeat, but rhymes, and this time it is rhyming, right? It's not the exact same, but it is rhyming. So if we look at this boom and bust cycle here, if we look at next month, so December, it's saying the high is somewhere around six bucks. If we look at January, it's saying the high is somewhere around $9. And if we look at the high of February and early March, it's saying the high is around $16 this cycle. And that lines up with the FIB extension levels that I mentioned earlier. So again, this is a way we can, you know, look at the different levels and timeframes for breakouts, right? Again, it's not going to be verbatim. And we have been a lot more suppressed than Bitcoin has. And Bitcoin and Ethereum, are, are, they just have the mass marketing machine, right? Everybody's Every mainstream media, every product or service it always promotes Bitcoin and Ethereum first. So imagine we might even go to 20 or even $30. But, you know, by this timeline, it's saying that, you know, January, February could be two digit XRP. So it's going to be fun to check back in this in a few months and see where we stand. But OK, here's another one. So let's go to the Bitcoin chart. So in Bitcoin's third major run. So we had a big run here, right? So off of the low there. You know, we were up like 600%. And, you know, this is another big run here. And then the third big run. So from this, you know, bear market here and the monthly EMA 12 and 26 bear cross, that was the first ever. Was it the first ever on XRP as well? Yes, it was. So that's interesting as well. So on the first ever monthly EMA 12 and 26 bear cross on Bitcoin, look what happened after when we had a bull cross. We went about a hundred, sorry, about uh, 12,600. So we'll say about 13,000%. Okay. So now let's say, see something similar here. And we'll see if this matches up with the fractals and the FIB levels. So that'll give us three confluences, right? So let's take a look. Okay. So this would be, you know, the first major breakout here, second major breakout, and then third major breakout because we'd be hitting new all-time highs. You could see this was a major breakout here, but we didn't eclipse the previous all-time high. So first one, second one. This would be the third. Okay. So even if we use the, the EMAs as well. So when was the first monthly EMA 12 and 26 bull cross? Okay. Let's go from, from that, right? Because that's what we use from Bitcoin for its 13,000% move, right? Oh, sorry, it was this one here. So monthly bear cross on the EMAs, and then it ran about 13,000%. Okay. Now, first ever monthly EMA 12 and 26 bear cross to the low, to the high of this cycle. Again, with the FIB tools and the Bitcoin boom and bust cycles. Wouldn't you know that it's around the same 12,000, 13,000%. So it, it's very likely that we top out somewhere around, you know, 14 to 16 bucks. You could even say like 14 to 20 bucks, but you know, I'm going to be taking some serious profit at $4. I've already made an exit plan video. If you haven't seen that, you can just go to my, my channel, go to YouTube or just search on YouTube, put um, XRP sell plan. And then there it is, sell targets in my exit plan and take profit levels with example. So what I'm thinking is we should hit somewhere around that $14 to $16 on, you know, as a kind of a median. I think, you know, low end, $8 to $12, pretty much a shoe in. I think, you know, $14 to, to $16, probably the most likely scenario somewhere in there. And then maybe we hit, you know, 20 bucks or something like that, 25 bucks. But I think the most likely scenario, and again, with, with the previous uh, Bitcoin all-time price index, right? Boom and bust cycles, that's making sense. The FIB tools, that's making sense with $15, $16. Uh, with the first ever monthly EMA 12 and 26 bull cross, then the move after that, again, with Bitcoin's similar move, makes a lot of sense. So uh, yeah, here we are. We're starting to gain some momentum, momentum as well here on XRP. And uh, the rest of alts, it's continuing here as I make this video. But uh, yeah, and the best thing of all, we haven't seen the 50 and the 200 weekly cross bullish yet. But look, they're very, very close. We're only three cents away now. And the difference is this time is Bitcoin's breaking out into price discovery. And we have full-blown alt season just around the corner. The new administration coming in looking to do no tax crypto. RLUSD launch is pretty much imminent uh, as per uh, a lot of sources saying that uh, the, they, they were doing a lot of burning and pretty much everything is ready to go. They're just waiting regulatory uh, confirmation. They could IPO in 2025. 
<laughs> things are looking absolutely juicy at the moment. And uh, like I said, when Ethereum had the last 50 and 200 weekly moving average bull cross, price went from about 600 bucks to 5,000. So just imagine what's going to happen on XRP. So just want to, before we leave, just want to remind everybody it's 20% off for, uh, for Black Friday. And uh, that's going to be on uh, all of our memberships, uh, the Algo service. So if you go to powgroup.ca or pursuitofwealthgroup.com, uh, all, all the uh, memberships are 20% off for Black Friday. And uh, same thing with uh, our courses. So the trading and investing 101, that one's 20% off. This is all in Canadian dollars, by the way. Uh, so it will be a lot less if you're in, a, in, a, in the US uh, or abroad. But uh, yeah, we're looking at 15% uh, off of the uh, POW merch as well. So if you just go powmerch.ca, or if you just go to our website, there's a link there as well, merch, and uh, there's 15% off. Uh, you can browse down there. There's a bunch of cool stuff. And if you want to go XRP, uh, we have uh, tons of XRP stuff. This I just bought this shirt here as well. These hats are super dope. Love them. Uh, got one myself and uh, just ordered this one. I should be here soon. So really do appreciate all the support. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. I wish you, um, you know, a great restful weekend. And like I said, it's going to be an exciting few months ahead. It's going to be fun to look back at these charts and see whether or not uh, it came to fruition. It's very hard to predict time and obviously price levels when we haven't been there yet, uh, support and resistance, you know, that's one thing, but when you haven't even been to a level yet, it's very hard to tell where we're going to top out in a cycle, but I feel pretty confident that we, uh, we cracked the code on this one. All right. It's Rod with the power group. Thanks again for joining us in the pursuit of wealth and we'll see you again on the next one.